right guys it is me hitman finally back once again with another grand theft auto 5 video now i have not done one of these videos in so so long i'm finally back to doing my normal youtube videos and i'm bringing back an old series that i used to do where i make car builds of you know popular pop culture cars in gta i found a whole load of old footage of all these cars sort of on my computer and i was like you know i'm, I'm gonna upload these once again because you know these things never saw the light of day and they were something that i meant to do but just never did this is like literally last summer i don't don't actually play GTA very much anymore. I jump on every now and again with my friends. I haven't actually done that in ages either because leave and serve. But anyway, guys, this one is going to be a car build for the Mad Max V8 Ford Interceptor uh, from the Mad Max movies. Now, for those of you who don't know, it's a V8 Ford Falcon. You know, the Australian iteration, not the American one. It's actually a really cool car and a very, very awesome car in GTA as well. It's the it's the Impomp Phoenix. It's kind of beast. It's probably my favorite muscle car. But anyway, guys, let's get straight into Los Santos and see what we can do to this car to make it look exactly like the movie. Now, I've already made a start in the start of this video because you can see it's already made and I've I've made it all dusty and dirty and stuff by driving around in, in the mud and sandy shores. It looks kind of beast now, but I'm going to show you how to make this car in GTA. But without further ado, let's get straight into Los Santos and see how we do it. All right, so first of all, we're going to go on to the bumpers. Now, I wanted the chin spoiler on it because I wanted it to look a little bit lower because that's just how I like my cars. And I thought this, uh, yeah, the extended chin spoiler looks kind of cool. And then also I went with just the stock exhaust because, you know, I thought the, uh, the other exhaust looked kind of dumb. So, you know, stock exhaust. The grill, I actually went for the iron mask because it actually looks so much cooler when the car has been totally murdered out in black and it gets real dusty and muddy. I thought the uh, the stock grill looked kind of dumb. So I went with the, with the iron mask. And then for the hood, I actually went with the single intake bug catcher instead of the triple or the cowl induction because they actually look kind of dumb on this car and I thought the massive chrome bug catcher would look really really cool as a centerpiece of the car and it kind of ties it in with the movie. For the headlights I just went with the stock ones of course I mean like the xenon ones look cool but I wasn't bothered spending five thousand dollars for something totally pointless and of course with the paint it's matte black as you can see totally murdered out in black secondary and primary matte it looks absolutely beast when it's real dirty. For the roof, I actually just went with a stock roof because I thought the glass roof looked a little bit out of place on a car that's going to be driving through wastelands and stuff, Mad Max and stuff. I didn't really see much point. And then also for the skirts, I went with the custom ones because I wanted them to match the uh, the custom chin spoiler in length and you know how far they actually go down. So it kind of made sense to have them only going like that much. So the stock one was kind of rendered a little bit redundant. And then of course the spoiler, I went with the non spoiler because the other two just look totally out of place when you're trying to match it to the movie car. And there's no point. Like as always, this is suspension is on the competition suspension because as like all my other cars I put them as low as possible because why not for the wheels we went down to the muscle class and we put on the drag SPLs because these look just really nice old stocky muscle car wheels they're black murdered out like the rest of the car and when they're black they're matte as well so they match the entire car and look absolutely beast as well for the custom accessories I went with the kind of like just the, the white custom tire writing stuff on the side they look kind of cool and also you can't actually see it here but you might have saw it at the start of the video there is actually brown tire smoke on this car so it makes it look like it's always driving through dirt which is kind of unnecessary but it looks it looks really good when you're actually driving around especially in sandy shores i think it looks beast anyway and of course guys we do have the limo windows as with all my cars the limo windows are murdered out like everything else totally black you see you can't see through anyway guys that is pretty much it hopefully you guys enjoyed i'm actually kind of kind of looking forward to posting a lot more during the summer i haven't been doing this for ages it's good to be actually getting back to this I actually truthfully really miss doing YouTube uh, leaving cert got in the way study and stuff but now I'm finished so I have so much time and of course I'm going into college in the end of the summer so I will actually be posting a lot more hopefully you guys enjoyed this video like the video if you would like to see some more of these and as always guys I have been Hitman I will see you next video guys Hitman out Together we're invincible.